Hello everyone, and welcome back to another edition of Tyler's Sports Cards. It is Saturday, October 10th, and today, as you can see in front of me, we are ripping into the other two hobby boxes of Top Heritage Minor League, where I posted the first two on Wednesday, October 7th, release day for this product. If you watched that break, you saw I got a pretty sick real one dual autograph in there. Won't tell you who it is. You got to go back and watch it to see who it was, but it is an uh, interesting card, and I look forward to getting it and adding it to my collection. So not much to talk about here. Not much has changed. Same product that I opened Wednesday, 18 packs, eight cards per pack of the 1971 Topps card design. Um, yeah, so I'm going to be opening a lot of Panini Contenders and Panini Chronicles, probably hopefully towards the end of next week. And I, I believe that release day, it's either, um, I think it's October 16th it comes out, so Friday. So probably not much going on at the beginning of the week up here. But towards the end of the week and in the next week, I'll have a hobby box of Contenders and like seven blaster boxes of Chronicles I got coming my way. So look forward to that. But for now, we're going to rip into two more hobby boxes. Hope we can duplicate our good luck in our second box last time of Topps Heritage Minor League Baseball, my favorite product of the year because I love the old-fashioned 1971 cardboard design, even with its black borders that chip easily, and I love players in their minor league uniform. I love Bowman, but I love Heritage Minor League more. I, doesn't know, I know it doesn't hold value long-term like Bowman, but... I really just like the players in their minor league uniforms because that's what I grew up with. Braden Shoemake, second overall pick for the Braves, is our baseball or one of the game's greatest moments box topper. And let's get right into it. One autograph and one relic, or as we learned, two autographs per box. We got Luis Matos, Ryan Mountcastle, Taryn Vav. We're probably going to want to see a duplicates because it's just a 200 card checklist. Nolan Gorman's our, bo our bazooka. Alec Thomas, Nolan Jones, Dominic Fletcher, and Davey Garcia. As the wild card round has wrapped up. And we're moving on to the ALCS and NLCS. Glenn Allen Hill Jr., Cannon Smith, Cal Raleigh, Bradley Zimmer, Josh Jung, Greg Jones, Jose Garcia, and the brother of Wilson, William Contreras. Leover Paguero, who is now on the Pirates. He was in the Starling Marte trade, who's now on the Marlins anyways. Obviously, Starling, that broken hand really hurt the Marlins this week. Jeremiah Jackson, Antonio Caibello, Abital Avellino, George Kirby, Royce Lewis, Shirt and Apostle, and Braden Shoemake. Like the last time, I'll be checking out for short prints and variations at the end of the break. Off camera. You can check out on my Instagram below. I'll post if I get anything. That's in the uh, description below. Andres Jimenez, Jared Oliva, Tyler Freeman. There's a Make Your Pro Debut card. Tyler Stevenson, Tristan Cassis, Helio Ramos, and Brennan Davis. We got a blue. Oh, we got a, is that a relic? We got a blue and a relic in this pack. Nice. Double the hits. Yvonne Herrera, Seth Beer, Parker Meadows, Runs Leaders, Hunter Bishop, our blue is Brady Singer, who made his Major League debut this year, probably the best Royals rookie. And our relic is, ooh, let's go! It is the big man himself, obviously just a relic, nice red there, probably when he played with the Bowling Green Hot Rods is my best guess. Princeton Rays don't wear red, Charlottetown Crabs don't wear red. Spring training rays don't wear red. That's got to be when he was on the Bowling Green Hot Rods. That is pretty nice there. My favorite prospect in all of baseball, Wander Franco. He is so good. Got to see him in spring training this year just before the coronavirus pandemic hit. Literally like three days before. And then I was at the last game where the Rays played the Phillies on March 12th, the day after the NBA shut down. So that was wild, but I was glad, really glad I was able to see Wander because who knows what access is going to be like in the future. Uh, Brady Singer is numbered, what is that, 66 or 68? 68 out of 99 on Brady Singer there. First round pick in 2018 out of the University of Florida. Go Gators! Many good pitchers come out of Florida. You think Singer, Puck, Fido, uh, Cower, um, Dane Dunning, Sean Anderson, Dylan Carlson, Jordan Adams, Miguel Amaya, Kiebert Ruiz, don't believe I got him before. Okay, we're already duplicating our bazookas. 
Mason Martin, Josiah Gray, and Brent Honeywell, who's been in the minors for what it feels like seven years now, hearing about him and his great screwball. But I hope he makes it soon. Estevan Floriel, Monty Harrison, Cole Wynn, our scratch off is Cannon Smith. Trevor Larnich, Logan Gilbert, Luis Campusano, and Jake Sanford. I believe Jake Sanford is from Canada. Third round pick by the Yankees last year. Alex Krilloff on the back. Made his debut in the wild card round. Brady Singer, base on the front. Matthew Lugo, the spinners. Jonathan Stever, Jordan Groshans. Our scratch off is Peyton Burdick uh, when he was with the Clinton Lumber Kings. Bo Naylor, Marco Luciano, and Alex Krilloff. I don't believe I mentioned it on Wednesday, but as you can see, there's no Jason Dominguez. There's no Robert Pawson in these because they haven't made their pro. No Baron Laura either. They haven't made their pro debut yet. There's no minor league uniform to put them in. It's not like Bowman where they just Photoshop the main uniform. Six, though. El Harris Montero, Kyle Muller, Shane McClanahan, just a base, Christian Robinson, Gilberto Jimenez, there's my man again, Sam Huff, and Tanaj Thomas. Look for some mail days in the future where I get Gilberto's first Bowman Chrome because that is something I will be buying huge stock in because I believe in him so much. Matt Manning, Gabriel Cancel, Vidal Brujan, Tommy Henry, Mackenzie Gore, Alec Manoa, Josh Lowe, and Michael Bush. Edward Cabrera, Grant Gamble, J.J. Ghost, Brett Beatty, Daniel Lynch, Mark Vientos, Michael Toglia, Grant Levine. Alec Bohm, D.L. Hall, Brian Mata, our scratch off is Vidal Brujan, Gabriel Arias, Anthony Volpe, the Sacramento Rivercats, and Austin Beck. Looking for our autograph. Sean Gell, Luis Patino, Alexander Canario, Aaron Ashby, Luis Campusano, Francisco Alvarez, Adam Kloffenstein, and Miguel Geraldo. A couple of young Blue Jay prospects there to round out that pack. Ryan Weathers, Bobby Bradley, Miguel Vargas, Joey Bart, Evan White, Ryan Rollison, Bobby Dahl back in the Digicamo, and Aaron Branca. A lot of good young Indians prospects here. Aaron, George Valera, among others. Strikeout leaders, Jesus Sanchez, Freudis Nova, Geraldo Perdomo, make your own pro debut card, Hudson Head, Matthew Allen, and Christian Adames. Only three packs left. We're going through this fast, and we're still looking for our autograph. And I just knocked over four bases. Sorry, Geraldo Perdomo and Freudis Nova. There's Bryce Terang, Gabriel Rodriguez, Brent Rooker, Jackson Rutledge, ERA leaders, Daz Cameron, Saves leaders and Braylon Marquez. Two packs left. Last time we got gypped on a relic. Allegedly. I don't blame him. And this time, let's try not to get gypped on an auto, because then I'll actually be mad. Ethan Hankins, Simeon Wood Richardson, Travis Swaggerty, Scratch Off, Victor Victor Mesa, TJ Sikama, Ronnie Mauricio, and Grayson Rodriguez. The auto better be in this last pack here. Otherwise, I'm going to have to go through the entire base and see if I missed it. Because, I mean, I very well might have. It is tough to see, as you can see from that Ethan Lindau last time. Sorry for the spoilers. That's probably our auto. That's just a guess. Kyle Isbell, home run leaders. Yesniel Diaz, inning leaders. Greg Kessinger, O'Neill Cruz, Ian Anderson. That card looks darker. It's probably our auto. Let's hope it is, or I'll look like a fool. The Quakes. So the Rancho Cucamonga Quakes are the single A for the Dodgers. I would say our best options are Andy Pages and Miguel Vargas. Miguel Vargas. And it is a nice autograph of Miguel Vargas. Nice, writes it like Vargas. Just a base autograph. Very well written on the Vargas there. Last pack auto. Nothing too exciting. It is a Dodger, though. Um, people get really excited over young Dodgers. I believe he's from Cuba, born in 1999. So just a name to watch out with. He's something in like the mid-teens for the Dodgers prospect, but at least it's not on a junk team. So something to keep an eye on down the road. All right, let's move on to our final box. We've made it so far. Move our base out of the way here. Let's get a sick autograph to end it. Let's get Adley, Bobby Witt, J.J. Bleday, Riley Green, um, 
Who else do we want? I know Wander, a lot of the other big international guys don't have autographs in here, even though they're in the base set. I would say Adley is easily the one I'm looking for the most. Our game's greatest moments top loader is... And these packs suck at opening. So many box toppers of weird shapes this year. Nothing's uniform. They're all different shapes. This is so long. Anthony Volpe. Very nice. First round pick for the Yankees out of uh, New Jersey High School. Don't remember exactly which one. Brandon Marsh, Key Brian Hayes, and Wander for a third time. Xavier Edwards is our bazooka. Chris Bubik, Ildaramo Vargas, Brennan Malone, and Philly's first round pick in 2018 out of UNLV, Bryson Stott. 2018 or 2019? No, he was 2019. Alec Bohm was 2018. Hunter Green, Joan Duran, Taylor Trammell, Tarek Skubal, Jared Kalanick is our bazooka. Daniel Esposino, Cameron Misner, and Leody Tavares. There might have been some guys. I feel like Cameron Mesner and Lingoti Tavares we hadn't seen yet. Brandon Bilek, Drew Waters, Jazz Chisholm, Jordan Belzovic, Matt Walner, Edward Oliveras, Keone Cavaco, and Hudson Potts now on the Red Sox. Victor Mesa Jr., Forrest Willie, Cody Host, a make-your-own-pro debut card. Sticks, Tristan McKenzie, Peyton Burdick, Ryan LaVarnoy, and Daniel Johnson. So far for parallels, we've got... Two blues and one white. Let's try to get a gold or a red here. Let's really knock it out of the park. Avital Avellino, Parker Meadows, Runs Leaders, Hunter Bishop, Shea Langoliers is our third bazooka, Braden Shoemake, Yvonne Herrera, and Seth Beer. Drafted by the Astros out of Clemson, now with the Diamondbacks traded for Zach Greinke. Tim Tebow, Luis Garcia, Clark Schmidt, Corbin Carroll, Peyton Burdick is our autograph. All right. Uh, not... The biggest name, he actually hit really well. Uh, I didn't see Peyton because he went through Batavia so fast. I don't know if he was like a third round pick. Yep, drafted in the third round out of Wright State. Hit 308 last year. Slowed down a little when he got up to Clinton, but he dominated through uh, Batavia. Matthew Libertori, Ulrich Bodrowski, and Brian Rogia. You know, based on the checklist, other than, I mean, we, I can't complain because obviously we got a major dual autograph and a lot of nice base cards and stuff. But in terms of the base autographs, Ethan Lindau, Miguel Vargas is solid, and Peyton Verdick, we definitely didn't hit the best. I mean, that's it. That's the odds you take, the risks you take. But I'm not going to complain because that dual autograph, I, I never checked the odds on it last video. And I actually haven't checked it in between. We'll check it in one sec. There's Peyton Burdick. The odds on a real one dual autograph is 1 in 2,758, if you can see right there. So, yeah. That's, uh, that's pretty good. So, I can't complain too much. Maybe we'll get ourselves a nice parallel. Riley Green, Nick Lodolo, Khalil Lee, Blake Walston. Scratch off is Francisco Alvarez. I just put these in the wrong pile. Pitching leaders, Max Lazar and Jordan Brewer. Matt Manning, Gabriel Council, Vidal Bruhan, Riley Green is our scratch off. Alec Manoa, Josh Lowe, Michael Bush, and Gabriel Arias. Tommy Henry, Alec Bohm, D.L. Hall, Brian Mata, Anthony Volpe, Sacramento Rivercats, Austin Beck, and ERA leaders. Nice Spencer Howard on the back there. We got Jorge Mateo, Jackson Cower, Chase Strumpf, Quinn Priester, Jeter Downs, traded from Mookie Betts, now on the Red Sox, Jonathan India, Julio Rodriguez, and Spencer Howard. Batting leaders. Nice guy there. There's a CT Tiger on here. Yuan Di Rea, don't even remember him playing for the CT Tigers, but apparently he made it as a batting leader last year, and he's not even listed at the top there. He hit 371. I don't know why the other guys aren't on above him. Shouldn't it be Vargas, France, and Abrams? I don't know. Bukowskis, Pages, Young, or Elvis Martinez, Luis Gill, Logan Driscoll, and Dalton Warshaw. Still looking for our relic. Hey, who knows? Maybe we'll get a second autograph. That'd be pretty sweet. Um, Anderson Franco, Bryce Ball, stolen base leader, scratch off of Adley Rutschman, Brenton Doyle, Brock Dethridge, Ezekiel Duran, and Isaac Paredes. 
I didn't show before what the scratch offs look like inside. It's obviously uh, a game you can play. I won't be playing now. I'll be keeping that Adley nice and pristine. But if you get some doubles, get a friend to play with, maybe that's what you want to do. Bryce Trang, Gabriel Rodriguez, Brent Rooker, Shay Langoliers, Daz Cameron, Saves Leader, Braylon Marquez, and the first overall pick, or first round pick for the Rays last year out of UNC Wilmington, the speedy Greg Jones. We got a blue, so nothing insane in the parallels. I saw a K there. My guess is Chris Bubik. Alec Thomas, Nolan Jones, Dominic Fletcher, Nico Holzheiser, Luis Montos, Ryan Mountcastle, Taryn Vavra, and that's who it is. 69 and 99. Chris, I, I think it's pronounced Bubich. Like, I think it's like a Eastern European type sounding name. Could be wrong though. Uh, out of Stanford, a nice Royals pitcher. We got the first and second rounders for the Royals. Now we just need to add Jackson Cower and Daniel Lynch. Monopolize on Royals pitchers parallels. Jackson Rutledge, Glenn Allen Hill Jr., Cannon Smith, Cal Raleigh, make your pro debut, Jose Garcias, William Contreras, and Tyler Stevenson. Three packs left. Leovi Peguera, Jeremiah Jackson, Antonio Caibello. Okay. A second autograph. You know, that's better. I will take, I mean, it's not a huge name. Again, at least this one is a first-round pick. Jackson Rutledge out of a junior college was 16th overall by the Nationals last year. Saw him pitch with, not Hagerstown, who he's pictured with here. Oh, 17th. My bad. Not Hagerstown, but I saw him pitch when he was with the Auburn Double Days, and he is pretty good. Um, the area is 3.13 last year. Obviously, small sample size, but he is tall. Let's see what it says here. 6'8". Yeah, he is a tall guy. Hopefully, one day, he can join the ranks of the Strasburgs and the Scherzers of the world, because... I saw him pitch last year in just one start. He certainly looked really nice. I'm glad we got two autographs. That's cool. Not going to complain there. Jackson Rutledge. Davey Garcia, George Kirby, Royce Lewis, Shirt and Apostle. I believe we went through the rest. Two packs left. Not expecting much. Let's try to get Wander or Adley in base again. Come on. Gunnar Henderson, RBI leaders, George Valera, Luan Diaz, Bryce Wilson, CJ Chatham, Shane Boz, and Owen Miller. And our very last pack of Heritage Miners for the year, sadly. Maybe I'll buy more. Doubt it, though. I had fun. Just looks like we got a scratch off in there. Bradley Zimmer, Andres Jimenez, Jared Oliva. Our scratch off is Braden Shoemake, Tristan Cassis, Haley Ramos, Brennan Davis. And our last card is Bo Naylor. Very nice break. We got three autographs and only one relic. And our relic was super nice in our two boxes here today. Our autographs are Jackson Rutledge, Peyton Burdick, and Miguel Vargas. If I had to rank how much I like these, I'll say Vargas first, because he's a Dodgers and a hitter. Rutledge, I really do believe in with his height. You know, a Tyler Glassnell type pitcher with a good curveball. And Burdick last, because Marlins. Sorry, Marlins. Uh, two Royals pitchers out of 99, Brady Singer and Chris Bubik. Our relic is Wander. Probably my favorite card of the break, just because I love Wander so much, even though it's just a relic. And a lot of base and short prints that I will go through at a later time. Be sure to follow my Instagram below down in the bio if you want to see some extras from this break and from my collection if I find anything separate. Like in an Alan Ginter break I posted earlier this week, I actually had a uh, no number Ozzy Albies. I didn't notice the first time through, so that's pretty neat. Those are limited to 50 copies, so you never know when it comes to Heritage, Gypsy Queen, Allen Ginter, and all these type products that are based on short prints and variations, sometimes more than the autographs. You never know what you might find when sorting. Thank you for watching. Uh, next week, like I said, I'll be bringing it with some Panini Unlicensed, Contenders, and Chronicles. So I look forward to the next time. Be sure to go down there and leave a like and subscribe. Thank you.